rolling into its new home at Dreamland's Roller Room. It's taken nearly four months and cost more than £150,000 to move the Banksy mural from the side of a house, even though it was only round the corner. Oh, we're delighted it's here. I mean, you know, to have a globally renowned artists like Banksy's work exhibited here at Dreamland is just fantastic. We like to think we're a pretty quirky and interesting place and this is really the icing on the cake. It's taken a lot of work to relocate the Banksy here to Dreamland, from removing the wall from the side of someone's home to keeping the freezer safe at a secret lockup. But even once it was here, it was a tricky task to get it in the building. It's definitely been a few sleepless nights. Um, I mean, certainly when it's been cut out of the wall for one. Um, certainly when I got a phone call from the Art Conservatory to say, uh, we've double checked our measurements and uh, we're six millimetres the wrong way. We can't get it into Dreamland. So when they lifted it out of uh, their warehouse, uh, they had to hold it in the air for about several hours to cut, to cut the existing wheels off that they put on previously uh, and resolder on new smaller wheels um, to gain 30 millimetres, just so we could actually get it in the building. They haven't found a buyer for the Valentine's Day mascara artwork yet, but it's expected to fetch between one and a half to two million pounds. Once it does, a significant sum will be given to Margate-based domestic abuse charity Oasis. The fact that this will resonate with so many people, and actually it will save lives. Any awareness, any donation uh, is just a bonus to us and it will go towards supporting hundreds if not thousands of individuals who are victims of domestic abuse. Visitors will be able to see the Banksy at the amusement park from Sunday, which means 28 Park Place can now go back to being someone's home. Joe Caution, ITV News, Margate.